Hi, it's Daryl from Optic Central with you today, and today I'll be talking about the brand new smart telescope by Celestron called the Origin. The Celestron Origin is a revolutionary smart telescope that combines cutting edge te technology with user-friendly design. And today I'll go with, uh, through with you the specifications, the basic setup, and the use of this amazing telescope. So here are some of the specifications of the Celestron Origin. It's based on the Celestron Rasa. It's a Rho Ackerman Smith astrograph. The aperture is um, six inches um, or 152 millimeters. The focal length is um, 335 millimeters. It gives you a, a F ratio of 2.2. The coatings are Starbright XLT, an enhanced multi-layer mirror coating made from aluminium, quartz, titanium dioxide, and silicon dioxide. That increases the light transmission significantly. The camera used on the Celestron Origin has a Sony IMX178 LQJ color um, back illuminated sensor. The sensor size is, is 8.92 millimeters diagonal. The pixel size is 2.4 micron. The resolution is 3096 by 2080. That's 6.4 uh, megapixels. The onboard computer is a Raspberry Pi Model B. The mount is a computerized go-to um, mount. This dew protection is uh, fully automated. It's a full ma fully automated element on the front glass and it has a removable um, dew shield. The focus is done by autofocus routine or you can go over the, right over that process and focus it manually. Uh, there are two fans here, uh, one for the optics and the other one is for the onboard computer. There's an LED light that indicates the status of the telescope. It can tell you if there are any faults. There's a timer for your photographic se sessions, as well um, as if, if the photo has been taken as well. There are two USB-A ports on the optical tube for accessing the raw images taken for external um, processing. The other port is there for mobile charging that can come in handy for charging your mobile phones. It's got some auxiliary ports here. Um, well, there's actually two here located on the, the OTA and there's um, a few more here on the mount itself. And there's a few more down here as well um, on, the, on the, the base of the mount. The battery has lithium iron phosphate battery. 97 9 watt hour capable of um, six and a half hours of use to charge a telescope um, you can use the supplied um, celestron power adapter 12 volt 5 amp if you wish to run the telescope off the mains or to to power up the the, the battery the optical tube is 4.8 kilograms the mount um, is um, 7.7 kilograms the tripod is um, six and a half kilograms so the total weight you're looking around about 19 kilograms um, solar viewing um, due to the large aperture this guy's got i probably will refrain from using this to view the solar um, on it it hasn't been designed for um, viewing the sun and the internal components could easily heat up and cause some damage. Firstly, let's put the Celestron Origin tripod together. Fasten all the bolts. Spread the tripod legs out and lock them in place. Let's get the mount hold onto this with the handle 
line up the bolt holes and screw them in snugly so the mount sits nicely on top of the tripod. With the tube, make sure the dovetail fits securely into the clamp. Move the tube along so the edge of the Origin logo lines up with the edge of the mount. Tighten up the clamp by turning this locking bolt. Hold the telescope tube snugly while you do that. And don't forget to connect up the curly cable to the auxiliary port of the tube and to the corresponding auxiliary port of the mount. Okay, let's get the right app to control the Celestron Origin. You will need to get the Celestron app from either the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. Download the app, it is just under one gigabyte in size. Before you begin connecting to the hotspot that the Celestron Origin will generate, we need to look at your Wi-Fi settings. Click on the Origin network and connect to that. When you first start up, it will require a password of one, two, three, four, five, 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 five. You can of course adjust this password later if you wish. Now open up the Celestron Origin app. Scroll through the various splash pages. When you come to the page with the orange connect now button, click this and you will be prompted to join the Origin network. The Celestron Origin app is now connected to the Celestron Origin telescope and now you're in business. So what we'll do now is um, we'll go into, I'll take this, I'm taking this home to my backyard and I'll have this set up. Well, here I am in my backyard um, with the the origin. There's the origin here. So um, I click on the origin and I get a tick next to it. And what I do next is I open up the origin app. It's now going to calibrate. Now I can't do this during the day, of course. Okay, so we, we can control the telescope this way too. So I'm just using the, the app to do that. Bring it back to the home position. I'll bring it around the front to show you what it looks like. Um, the mirrors, anyway, the mirrors, it looks like a pretty intricate um, system where you can see the cameras at the front um, based on a, a Casa grain. Uh, but this is a very fast telescope. Let's explore the Celestron Origin app and its features for astrophotography. When you open the app, you'll see a list of recommended celestial objects to observe based on your location and current sky conditions. For our first target, I've chosen the Lagoon Nebula, also known as Messier 8 or M8. It's a beautiful emission nebula in the constellation Sagittarius, about 5,200 light years from Earth. To select it, simply tap on its name in the app's target list. Once selected, the Celestron Origin Telescope will automatically slew, move to the target. This process usually takes about 30 to 60 seconds, depending on the telescope's starting position. During this time, you'll see the Sky Atlas view in the app, which provides a real-time representation of the telescope's movement across the night sky. As the telescope approaches the target, you'll notice a rectangular outline appear on the screen. This represents your camera's field of view, allowing you to precisely frame your image. After the telescope has centered on the Lagoon Nebula, the Celestron Origin will automatically start the imaging run. You can of course cancel this at any time if you hit the red icon at the bottom of the screen. This initiates the exposure sequence. The Celestron Origin uses a technique called live stacking, where multiple short exposures are combined in real time 
to create a single detailed image. For this demonstration, I'll let the sequence run for 15 minutes. You'll see the image gradually build up on screen, becoming clearer and more detailed over time. Initially, you might only see a faint smudge, but soon the distinctive shape of the Lagoon Nebula will emerge with its bright core and surrounding gas clouds. After running the sequence for a full hour off screen, the final image reveals incredible detail. I have enhanced the detail with my post-processing and you can clearly see the nebula's dark dust lanes, bright star forming regions, and the cluster of young stars at its heart. Now let's move on to another fascinating deep sky object, the Helix Nebula, catalogued as NGC 7293. This planetary nebula in the constellation Aquarius is often called the Eye of God due to its distinctive appearance. Again, select the Helix Nebula from the app's target list and the telescope will automatically slew to its position. This time, pay attention to how the Sky Atlas shows the telescope's movement. You'll see it trace an arc across the sky as it moves from the previous target to the new one. Once centered, we'll start another 15 minute exposure sequence. The Helix Nebula's ring-like structure will gradually appear. At first, you might only see a faint circular shape, but as more exposures are stacked, the Nebula's intricate details will become visible. So here is the result I got after I dedicated two hours of image acquisition of the Helix Nebula. I must say that the final image is impressive, showing the nebula's faint complex structure and the central white star that exploded producing this beautiful nebula. With practice and experimentation, you'll be able to capture increasingly detailed and beautiful images of the night sky. So what do I think of the Celestron Origin? Look, it is very expensive and within the reach of a select few, but the Celestron Origin combines cutting edge technology with quality optics, making stargazing more accessible and enjoyable than ever. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced astronomer, this smart telescope has something to offer. The Celestron Origin with a simple setup, intuitive use, and advanced imaging capabilities, you'll be exploring and capturing the wonders of the universe in no time. Just remember to check our weather forecast and find a location, and most importantly, have fun with your new Celestron Origin. So on behalf of all of us at Optic Central, we wish you clear skies, look up, and enjoy the wonders of the universe.